Hi, my name is Alvaro. Welcome back to ABC Guitar Workshop. Today we are going to talk about the second batch of the Upcycle series. I will tell you the story of three guitars and I will show you a really cool painting technique that was used on them and I am going to assemble these guitars. Before we begin, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Click the like button if you want to see more guitars and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Let's begin. The Upcycle series is the project that searches the internet for guitars that are not receiving proper care or are even suffering from domestic violence. The guitars are fully disassembled, maintained and reimagined, modifying or repairing the wood if necessary and upgrading their hardware. Then they are reassembled and prepared to find a new home where they can make great music and make somebody happy. The second batch of the Upcycle series is going to work with this single cut body finished in black, this red strut body, and this SG body also finished in black. The painting was done in collaboration with Dominic Klassen an artist from Dead Mold that I worked with before. You can find his information in the video description. He suggested to paint the guitars with this marble acrylic paint using a technique that he is very familiar with called hydro dipping. We worked in his basement filling a guitar sized container with hot water and pouring the paint choosing the colors for each guitar. For the first guitar, the dominant colors are orange and yellow because they remind me of a Les Paul. Once the paint is ready, you submerge the guitar body. For the second guitar, the main colors are pink and purple to contrast the red, but it also has some white and grey like the previous one. Finally, the SG with blue, yellow and grey. This is how it turned out. Afterwards, I applied a matte clear finish with spray cans. I applied around 7 coats of spray to each body with sanding in between, so now they are totally smooth and ready for assembly. Now it's time to pair them with suitable necks, so let's check what's inside the cabinet. This is where I store my power tools and templates, but also my guitar necks. I hang them because otherwise they occupy too much space. I refinish the headstocks of the necks in the middle, two in black and one clear. Now we can begin the assembly. The flat top Les Paul style body is gonna have a vibrato system similar to the B5 by Bixby. 
the humbuckers are going to be covered with these metal plates to get a more interesting appearance. The spring under the bar was too long, so I had to cut it before installing the strings. Moving on with the strut, it's going to have a clear transparent pick guard to avoid covering the painting. I had to drill new holes for the neck joint and also for screwing the pick guard. This one will have three single coil pickups with white covers and the cables are going to be visible through the pick guard. We're almost there. Just one more guitar to go. The SG is gonna have two humbuckers, one with a chrome plate on the neck and a black one on the bridge. And it's gonna have a tonomatic bridge system like SGs normally do. The painting in the back of the neck is in good condition, so I just refinished the headstock. We are almost at the end of the video, so let's take a final look at the second batch of the Upcycle series. The guitars are finished, fully assembled and strung, and now each of them has its own identity. They were not only upgraded by the paint, but also by different elements of the hardware, including the pickups. I tested them with an amplifier and all of them worked fine. There were no issues with the electrical connections. I will probably make a video with a sound demo in the future. I would like to know if you like how these guitars turned out and which one do you like the most. I have to admit that I am very satisfied with the result. They took a fair amount of effort over the past months, but seeing them finished gives me motivation to start working on the next batch. This painting technique was a lot of fun and I would really like to try it again in the future. But in the meantime, I want to keep exploring different methods and I would like to know what would you like to see on future upcycle projects. Write it down in the comments. I would also like to take this opportunity to share some information about ABC Guitar Workshop. The YouTube channel and Instagram profile were created almost a year ago, on September 17th to be precise. And so far it has reached 400 subscribers on YouTube and 1,150 followers on Instagram. So I want to thank all of you for the support, it really means a lot. If you have watched this video until this point and you are still not subscribed to my channel, I strongly suggest you to do it. There are a lot of other cool guitar projects on the pipeline and I am eager to share it with you. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching my video and see you next time.